up today are buffalo chicken wontons. All right, as you can see, I got a pound of ground chicken in a pan going over about medium heat, and I just seasoned it with about a tablespoon of Old Bay. Nothing too special. And basically, just want to cook this till it's done. Okay, got our ground chicken in a bowl, and to this, I'm going to add two tablespoons of that spicy ranch we made for our uh, taco burgers a few days ago. And then you want to guesstimate about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half, or a little more if you want it a little spicier, of buffalo sauce. Then you want to take uh, about a tablespoon of butter and melt it on up. Put that in there. And then you want to add about a cup, cup and a quarter of shredded cheddar cheese. Doesn't have to be super accurate. Just eyeball the son of a bitch. And then just grab a spoon and give this a mix. And uh, you probably should pull your wonton wrappers out of the fridge. All right, next step. Okay, as you can see, I kind of got the uh, wonton wrappers right here. And you want a spoon. You'll, you'll just have to do it by eyeball. But if I had to guess, probably a teaspoon worth of the mix you just made onto each one of the wrappers. Remember, these do have to fold over and seal, so you don't want a ton. And then brush each uh, one of the wrapper's edges, just with some water or an egg wash, whichever you prefer. And then you just want to fold them over and kind of seal the edges down. You can either do just the one big thing across, or you can kind of do this four corner thing I'm doing. Just depends on what size of wontons you want. Okay, got a deep fryer ready to uh, have them. The oil's been heated for to roughly 350 degrees. And you want to fry these for roughly 10 minutes or until they uh, start to change shape. Just keep an eye on them because everybody's oil's a little bit different. So keep an eye on them. And you will have to kind of move them around a little bit. I'll show that in a minute. And as you can see, they're starting to come along. So basically, you just take the handle of a spoon and just kind of knock them around so they get browned on pretty much all sides. Again, you'll have to do this a couple of times during the frying process. And once they're fried and they look something like that, put them on a plate and serve them up. Buffalo chicken wontons. Done.